you hear the terms artificial intelligence we think of a controlling dupes the freak using minetic metal polyalloy with nanotechnological transjector that will hack our planes and ground them, hack into our devices and crush them as depicted in sci-fi movies such as Jixi Plug me Unplug me Yes The Terminator Even Spectrum. But today I'll be shedding more light on artificial intelligence and the benevolent type of artificial intelligence that we can harness and use it to make our life even more productive. They want to show you a certain type of artificial intelligence that maybe you have never encountered before. So this kind of artificial intelligence is different from others. But before we go to that, why don't you first see what artificial intelligence is? Artificial intelligence is the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making and translation between different languages for instance if you maybe right now open your android device or even your um, iphone then you maybe summon the assistant it will definitely be able to do some tasks such as you know setting an alarm it will also be able to do some other tasks that you definitely require it to do today we shall be harnessing the power of artificial intelligence to make us even more productive in whichever field, be it medicine, be it artificial intelligence, be it programming, whichever field you can think of, we shall be pushing the artificial intelligence to its limits. So today we shall be looking at chat GPT. So the first step is logging to chat dot openai dot com. So in this case, you shall be prompted to create an account. And in the case you don't have an account, you can just sign up. For now, I have an account and that is what we shall be using. So I'll click on the login button. So wait for a moment. So in this case, I already have an OpenAI account. So I'll be prompted to login. I verify that I'm not a robot. Funny how I have to prove to a robot that I'm not a robot. So proceed. I'll be prompted to enter the password and then login so now from there we can be able to create a chat with this open ai with this artificial intelligence so we just click next next and then we're done so you can choose on any topic you want to discuss with this open ai so you can start with a very simple question who are you and then we click on the send button so the open ai We'll start responding here. So you can see now the artificial intelligence in this case has given you a description of who it thinks it is. You can even go to some more complex questions. So we'll start with the field of something like qualitative analysis. So we can ask this artificial model what is what is gravimetric analysis. So that is in the field of qualitative analysis so you see it is responding better than google because it doesn't actually give you a list of useless links that you have to peruse and look for the exact answer this one is giving you the exact answer so this is a very very accurate ai model so we can ask it maybe something else what is what are t-cells So these are very, very good type of artificial intelligence. 
which you can interact freely with. So next, I want to go to the field of quantum mechanics. So we, we start by asking this AI model what quantum mechanics is. So what is, what is quantum mechanics? So you can see quantum mechanics is a fundamental theory in physics that describes the behavior of matter. So this is a very, very good model and it gives you what you need, not what it means you need. So it gives you the, you know, the key concepts in quantum mechanics, position, quantum entanglement, you know, uncertainty principle. So these are very, very accurate AI models. So further in the field of quantum mechanics, why don't we delve to something like Schrodinger's equation, please pardon my pronunciation. So you can see, the Schrodinger equation is a mathematical equation that describes how the wave function of a physical system changes over time. This is amazing. And then let's see whether it will be able to print the Schrodinger equation on the screen. <laughs> it's amazing. Just have a look. This is amazing. Actually, I've never seen such kind of an artificial intelligence. And I'm kind of curious. Can this artificial intelligence write programming codes? Let's see. So we go to the field of programming. So I'll start with a very, very simple program like a python program to write hello world so you can see hello world in python let's see <laughs> ah, this is beautiful this is amazing just have a look so this is a good teacher in that you can even copy the code and then run it wow i never expected this this is beautiful for sure. I've never seen anything like this. So we shall test this code whether it works. So I have Python install it. Copy the code and then create a new file. New file and then paste. Then save. Dot pi. So that's it. We save it and then we run the code. So let me cancel these ones. So you can see the code runs and we have hello world. So this AI model is intelligent and it can even write code. So yeah, you can use it in an exam. So can you trust a liar who claims to be lying? This is beautiful. The response is just drilling. So before we send this, the answer is supposed to be halfway because the moment the rabbit runs halfway into the forest, it will be running out of the forest. So let's see. <laughs> this is amazing actually. You know, the, okay, the problem with AI is it doesn't follow logic always. It has a lot of computations which are taking place. Let's see what the AI model says. It is impossible to accurately determine how far a rabbit can run into the woods as it depends on various factors such as the rabbit's physical conditions, the terrain, vegetation of the woods, and any potential obstacles or dangers that the rabbit may encounter. This is beautiful. This is just amazing. Anyway, enough. So... Do you believe there's a time when humans will be replaced by artificial intelligence? Because I do believe these models are very, very accurate. They are fast and you can see. So I'll ask a very stupid question. How many spike proteins does the HIV virus have? So So good. Wow. So the HIV virus has a single spike protein on its surface, which is a long, thin protein that protrudes from the 
surface of the virus. The HIV spike protein is made up of three subunits called GP120, GP41, and GP160, which are arranged in a trimetric structure. This is amazing. So you can see in the near future, teachers will be replaced by AI whereby a student will be able to type, you know, a certain question, and then maybe the answer will be printed on the board. This is amazing. You can see this is a very, very accurate model. So we can test another field such as agriculture. So, so we can look at some ways of controlling some agricultural diseases or some crop diseases such as the raccoon stunting disease. So, Raccoon stunting disease is a plant disease that affects sugarcane and other grasses. This is amazing. This is amazing. I just love the model. So, so we go to another field which is chemistry. And in this field, we shall be looking at how we can synthesize the world's most dangerous drug, which is scopolamine friction. But remember, scopolamine is an isomer of cocaine. Some molecules can be right handed, whereas others can be right handed. So Scopolamine is the left-handed isomer of cocaine, so we can look how to synthesize scopolamine So good, so let's see whether we shall be able to get the actual methods of synthesizing scopolamine so in this case now synthesizing scopolamine can be a complex process that requires specialized equipment and expertise and it is generally not something that can be done in a home or an amateur settings i actually know a way of synthesizing scopolamine which is basically hydrolyzing scopolamine butyl bromide so we can have a look at Hydrolysis of scopolamine butyl bromide. Hmm. So during hydrolysis, the ester bond that links the scopolamine molecule to the butyl bromide group is broken, resulting in the release of scopolamine and butyl bromide. Something else which is even more fancy. Maybe you can try to derive uh -huh. let's see, let's see whether we shall be able to good. It is good. So we can be able actually to derive the equation. Good. You, you can see this is a very good model whereby now you can be able to derive even equations using this model. This is amazing. I actually love this. Wow, 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 wow. This is amazing. You can tell it to recommend the movies to you. Like, recommend movies. Like, Next, next is an artificial intelligence movie whereby artificial intelligence takes over the world. So, so we have these movies which fall under the same, you know, category. We have Minority Report, Adjustment Bureau, Ego Eye. I've watched this movie and actually it's very, very accurate. You know, the Looper. You can. Movies. So what do you think? What do you think about artificial intelligence? Have we reached that point where we should be shaken? We should be afraid. We should be cautious about the intelligence that we give to these models. Do you think that these models can perhaps take over the world? So that's it for today's video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed, and I have dropped the link in the description. I do know this is one of the most, you know, powerful artificial intelligence models out there.
and you know you should actually have a look at it and it's quite a feeling actually getting to you know share such an experience i do believe everybody should try this artificial intelligence model and see how it works so thank you guys for watching until next time meanwhile please remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos thank you